Today on Motors, Chris and the Motors crew go to Vegas to turn a 2010 Mustang into a hot rod. Hey guys, I'm here at the 2012 SGIA Expo, and once again, I'm joined by Troy Downey from Ape Raps, and behind me is a stock 2010 Mustang. It's owned by one of our crew members, Tammy, and it's also going to go to the SEMA show in a couple of weeks, but we can't take it stock like this, so what is going on, man? What's, what's well, this expo all about? Hey, our responsibility is to put the graphics on the car, so we've got the side application, a hood, a roof, and a rear application, and uh, you know, from there, you guys got a lot of other work going on, so... So you got to be busy day to day. Yeah, so what's what's the SGIA all about? Well, uh, you know, since this is a SEMA car, well, so uh, a good way to describe it is what SEMA is to the automotive world is what SGIA, this show is, to the print world. So when it comes to the wrapping the buildings and doing the signs on the side of the freeway, that's what this show is all about. Now, once you're done wrapping this thing, we're going to do a whole bunch of aftermarket accessories from AmericanMuscle.com. And prior to the show, we got some catskin leather interior already done, and we got some Bravado wheels wrapped by Mickey Thompson Tires. And just because of the conditions here, we went ahead and mounted, balanced, and installed those guys. And here they are. As we just mentioned, we're at a trade show that took place in Las Vegas about a week prior to the SEMA show. Both events were held at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So, as soon as one trade show ended, workers had just enough time to empty the place out and get ready for the next one. Outside of the venue, the one consistent thing about both trade shows was the appearance of our Mustang project vehicle. Now, in the first show, it was built before everyone's eyes right at the Seiko Instruments booth, which, by the way, is the company that makes the printers that create the vehicle wraps. And, of course, at the second event, the SEMA show, we got to show off all of our hard work. This was the SEMA Crunch at its finest. We didn't have weeks to complete this build, we just had a day. Now the first stage of our build was for the guys from Ape Wraps to begin the vehicle wrap process. As you can see, there's a lot of work involved, but they're professionals and they make it look pretty easy. we come back from our break, we'll watch the guys finish up, and then we'll start installing some appearance products to turn this stock Mustang into a show car. We'll be right back after the break. It just never ends with you. I feel like if it's not one thing, it's another. Well, that ends today. The Craftsman C3 line, one battery, more than 30 tools, and the power to tackle any job that stands in your way. You're welcome. The C3 line from Craftsman. Get the new, more powerful XCP battery. Now runs up to four times longer. Craftsman, trust in your hands. Hey, welcome back to Motors. Now, the vehicle wrap industry has blown up over the past few years with advancements in not just the printing equipment from Seiko Instruments, but newer, stronger, thinner, and easier to work with vinyl from companies like Avery Dennison. And of course, Troy Downey and his team at Ape Wraps, who are constantly pushing the envelope on what to do with their tools, such as creating partial vehicle wraps like what is going on our Mustang that resembles paint. In fact, we had several people that walked up to the Mustang in the booth after it was completed and asked us if it was paint. Well, let's watch the guys wrap more of our Mustang. It's a lot of fun to watch them transform a look of a vehicle within minutes.
Now, if you're interested in getting a wrap for your vehicle, well, we go into more detail in our previous episode of Motor, when Troy and his crew wrap the Motor's F-150 project truck. We talk about everything from the cost to where to get one, what the process is, the pros and cons like wrap versus paint, and a whole lot more. Visit our website to watch the full episode and learn everything you ever wanted to know about vehicle wraps. Now that the main part of the wrap is, well, wrapped up, let's install some parts. During the wrapping process, we also started the exterior makeover of the Mustang with appearance products provided by AmericanMuscle.com. We started by swapping out the stock grill with a 3D carbon Eleanor style center fog light grill which gives us that aggressive styling by moving the fog lights inward. This is an easy mod that takes about 30 minutes requiring just a few hand tools. We removed the rear bumper as well as the spoiler for three reasons. We're about to install a new spoiler and lower balance, plus it will make the vehicle wrap look a whole lot cleaner. The spoiler is bolted down and set in place at the factory with 3M tape. After removing the nuts under the trunk lid, we carefully removed the spoiler using some fishing line to weaken the 3M tape and some twisting action. Then the ape wrap guys went back to work. After the bumper cover was wrapped, we took it back off in order to install the Ford Racing Lower Valance, which is also known as a rear diffuser. This is the exact same one featured on the Shelby GT500 California Special and Boss Mustangs, and is a genuine Ford part that fits 2010 to 2012 Mustangs. It installs in about 2 to 3 hours with basic hand tools, giving your pony aggressive race-inspired styling with OEM fit and finish. Next up is the installation of a 3D Carbon GT500 inspired rear wing spoiler along with MMD Eleanor inspired side scoops. While the spoiler requires some basic tools and takes a few hours to install, the scoops take about 30 minutes to install and no tools at all. They stick on using the provided 3M tape and fits all Mustang coupes from 2005 to 2014. To further improve our retro styling, we also upgraded our stock side mirrors with these MMD retro mirrors from American Muscle. Installation takes approximately two hours using some basic hand tools, and you'll need to transfer the motors to the new mirrors. Both driver and passenger mirrors are included, they use all the factory installation hardware, and they fit all 2010 to 14 Mustangs. Now you may have noticed that all of these retro parts are color matched to our Mustangs factory D3 torch red paint color. All these parts were painted by American Muscle prior to shipment using the same base and clear coat urethane paint that the Ford factory uses. To find out your paint code, you can look inside the door jam of your driver's side door or use the easy to use color selector at AmericanMuscle.com when you visit the page for this product. These side rocker panel splitters are made by Roush and also available through AmericanMuscle.com. They add even more race-inspired styling and are the same panels found on the special edition Roush Mustangs. They take about two hours to install using 3M tape, pliers, a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, and they fit all 2010 to 14 Mustangs. Well, we upgraded the appearance of the lights up front, so why not the rears too? These Raxium smoked aero tail lights feature modern aerodynamic styling and are available in smoked and non-smoked lenses. They are dot approved and the biggest difference over stock is the reverse light is moved from the center to the bottom. They retain the sequential tail light function, fit 2010 to 12 Mustangs and give your ride a much cleaner appearance. You've seen us install these MGP caliper covers in a previous episode on our F-150 project truck, and here we are at it again on the Mustang. They are a quick way to clean up those ugly looking brake calipers with a custom look, and they take just a few minutes to install with a socket and a ratchet. Not only do they look great with their powder coated finish, but they also help with that nasty brake dust. Check out calipercovers.net for more information. 
And here it is. Within the matter of a day, our bone stock 2010 Mustang GT was transformed into an aggressive looking beast right before onlookers at a trade show in Las Vegas. About a week later, it was a featured project vehicle at the SEMA show. You probably noticed that we didn't touch the suspension or performance. Well, in this episode, it was all about appearance. Stay tuned to see what we do this pony next. The muscle will finally match the aggressive styling we just gave it. Brought to you by Craftsman at Sears. Now, Craftsman makes numerous pliers that allow you to take on tough jobs for cutting and grabbing just about anything. We use these guys all the time in our shop, and they've never failed us. But sometimes you need to work on smaller things, like inside mirror housings, or electrical for a winch, or other parts of a vehicle. Or even worse, being stretched out upside down to get into a tight space under the dash. And you know we've all been there. Well, thankfully, Craftsman offers a five-piece mini pliers set. They're just like their big brothers, but about half the size. Now, included in this set, you'll find long nose pliers, diagonal cutters, end nippers, needle nose, and bent nose pliers. Now, they may be small, but they won't slide out of your hands thanks to their grippy rubber handles, and the box joint construction gives you sturdy and smooth movement, which you need when working with smaller objects. The carbon steel is machined to precise tolerances and built to last. All five pieces rest comfortably in the included zippered case to keep them all organized and ready for your next job. Now, if you're looking for a bit more precision when it comes to gripping and cutting those smaller parts, or you're tied up in smaller places, go grab this set at your local Sears store or at sears.com tools. If you store your vehicle inside most of the time, or you need something that looks great outside for a limited amount of time, such as before or after a car show, check out Covercraft's newest fabric for indoor storage. It's called Fleeced Satin, and it features a double-woven polyester outer shell, along with a super soft white nylon fleece finish underside to provide a gentle touch to your vehicle's finish. The fabric has a slight stretch to it, which gives it a nice contoured fit. Now the differences between this cover and Covercraft's other indoor cover, called the Form Fit, is that it doesn't have the body-hugging stretch and it's lighter, 4.7 ounces per square yard versus 7.4. It's a great mid-weight custom cover and an excellent value as well. Installation is simple. Just lay the folded cover on the center of the vehicle, unfold toward the front and rear, cover the sides, then the front and rear. If you're in a hurry, Covercraft makes it easy to locate the front as it's marked with the word FRONT along with a pattern number and or a logo like ours. It's available in three colors, red, gray, or black, and comes with a two-year limited warranty. For more information on the fleeced satin car cover, visit Covercraft.com or the parts page at our website. So you just got a vehicle wrap like the one featured in this episode. And if you watched our previous episode on everything you want to know about vehicle wraps, you'll know that you need to take care of it just as you would any other painted vehicle. But is the technique any different, since it's vinyl and not paint? Well, I asked that question to Troy Downey, owner of Ape Wraps here in San Diego, who uses Mother's Polishes as well. And here's what he said. We use the Instant Detailer for upkeep and conditioning, but when our graphics get swirled, we use the professional hand glaze to clean and remove them, and then go back over them with their pure Brazilian Carnuba wax. Then we use their detailer again to keep it looking its best. We also use the Detail Glove to keep fingerprints away from the final finishes, foam application pad or orbital for applying product, and a microfiber cloth for removal and hand buffing. Now here's what the process looks like on our ape-wrapped Motors Craftsman Ford F-150, which had a bad case of the swirls. After using the process that Troy just described using hand glaze and the mother's orbital polisher, followed by carnauba wax and detail spray, the swirls vanish and the color comes back to life. Now right here on my workbench is what you need. If you've got a normal glossy wrap, use Mother's Showtime Instant Detailer. If you've got a flat matte wrap, you want to use their professional instant detailer instead, as it's silicone free and doesn't add unwanted gloss to the matte finish. Both detailers are used to maintain your vehicle's clean appearance by removing fingerprints, smudges, dust, and other minor imperfections. Hand glaze from their professional line is used to remove those swirls, add shine and protection, and more importantly, is completely safe on all types of paint or vinyl. Their pure Brazilian carnauba wax is used for the final step in the process. 
It's made with the finest number one yellow carnauba for superior shine and protection. Plus, it's non-abrasive, so you can use it as often as you want, even applying multiple coats. And finally, use a microfiber cloth or a good quality towel. And don't forget, if you store your vehicle outside, you may want to invest in a car cover from Covercraft. Keeping those UV rays and elements off your wrap will extend its life even longer. Now you can find all these products at mothers.com, the detail glove at detailglove.com, or for direct links, visit the parts page at our website. Now we add cool stuff to our rides all the time. Now whether it's the usual intake and exhaust kit combo to improve performance and sound, lifting or lowering your vehicle, there usually comes a time when you have to change your tire size and perhaps your gears in order to compensate for that. Now what happens next is your speedometer gets all out of whack. Now this isn't good for your odometer, nor is it good for avoiding those speeding tickets. Now it's about that time that you realize that you need a programmer, also called a tuner. Now all cars that were built since January 1st, 1996 have OBD2 systems built right into them. That makes it really easy to just plug in a programmer that adjusts your vehicle's computer to fix a few of the side effects with changing your tire, diameter, or gear ratio. The Hypertech's Max Energy Power Programmer is one such product that is designed to take care of these things, plus a whole lot more, like increasing horsepower and torque, raising or lowering your vehicle's top speed or RPM rev limiter, adjusting shift points, adjusting on-off temperatures of your vehicle's electric cooling fans, reading and clearing diagnostic trouble codes, and a whole lot more. Now available for both gas and diesel engines, the Max Energy Power Programmer from Hypertech is internet updatable, so you always have the latest version. Visit hypertech.com for more information or check out the parts page at our website. E3 Diamond Fire Spark Plugs are the most powerful spark plugs you can buy. They deliver a more complete fuel burn, more power, better economy, and reduced emissions. E3 Diamond Fire Spark Plugs at auto parts and lawn and garden stores everywhere. Letters brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs. Born to burn. Hey, welcome to Letters. Now before I answer some of your viewer mail, we've got some other things to talk about first. Now if you're on Facebook, please like our page at facebook.com slash motors TV. If you're on Twitter, you can follow us at Motors. And be sure to check out our website, motors.tv, for all the latest news and to watch full episodes of Motors. Now one page you should definitely bookmark is motors.tv slash win. We have giveaways all the time, such as Craftsman tools and interior and exterior parts for your vehicle. And one of the more popular giveaways is called Rides, where all you have to do is send in photos of your custom ride. It doesn't even have to be that crazy either. And every month we select a new Ride of the Month. Winners receive a free Motors branded car cover from Covercraft. They're featured in our newsletter, our blog, and a whole bunch of other places. Now to learn more, all you've got to do is visit our website and click on the Rides button. Now here are some of our recent Rides winners. Those are some pretty sweet rides. Now on to our letters. Our first one comes from Michael. He writes in and says, I have a 2000 Ford F250 7.3 liter diesel turbo. I've been trying to find some gauges for my truck. I want to monitor my boost, transmission, and oil temp, but I just don't know what company to get them from. So if you have any suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. I really like the truck videos you and the crew make. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Michael. Now, you should check out our diesel episode, which is Season 6, Episode 1. In that episode, I cover gauges for diesel engines. The ones I talk about in detail are from Autometer. They include a boost gauge, a transmission temperature gauge, and a pyrometer gauge. Autometer also makes an oil temperature gauge for you, as well as a gauge pod for your truck. That's a great idea to have them, so you know what's going on with your engine at all times. To watch that episode and to get a link to those gauges we featured, just visit our website and use the search box to do a search for diesel. And our next letter comes from Jim. He says, thank you for the show, Chris. I love watching you work in a two car garage. I own a 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT. It's stock right now, but I want to change the rims and tires. Can you do a show on how to select the right rims and tires covering things like offset backspacing and tire sizes? Keep up the good work. Well, Jim, we'll definitely go into detail in a future episode of Motors, as this is something our viewers definitely need to know. 
But something else you may not know about me is I'm also the host of another automotive series called Auto Center, which is a Mobile One eHow.com production. Several of the episodes they produced covers aftermarket wheels and tires, and you should definitely check them out. All those episodes are at our website too. Just go to motors.tv slash auto center and you'll find them all right there. And finally, John writes in and he asks, are spark plugs the same as those from, let's say, the 1970s? Well, John, the same basic design for spark plugs has actually been around since the 1800s when the first internal combustion engine was invented. So for about 150 years now. Now, with that being said, newer materials have been used for the electrodes such as titanium, platinum, and iridium but those just extend the life of the plug. Our good friends over at E3 Spark Plugs were one of the first to replace the traditional J-Wire electrode design with their unique patented design called Diamond Fire, which increases power and fuel efficiency, reduces emissions, and helps extend the life of the engine. Now, we've got an entire episode of motors devoted to spark plugs too. Just visit our website and search for spark plugs. Well, Speaking of E3 spark plugs, I'd like to thank John and everyone else for sending in your letter. They all get free E3 spark plugs for their ride just for sending in their letter, which is something that you can do by visiting our website and clicking on the letters button. To learn more about E3's Diamond Fire technology and to see if they're available for your ride, just head on over to e3sparkplugs.com. Well, we've got our customized 2010 Mustang GT back in the motor studio. Now it's actually been a little while since our Mustang was in Vegas and since then we've further customized it from the performance angle with a Pro Charger Supercharger, a big brake kit from SSBC, a Magnaflow exhaust kit and an airlift suspension system. Now you can watch us install all of that in the very next episode of Motors. But for now I'd like to thank American Muscle, Catskin Leather, Bravado Wheels, MGP Caliper Covers, Mickey Thompson Tires and of course Seiko Instruments for providing the booth space for us to work and ape wraps for the incredible paint-like vehicle wrap. Now to learn more about the products featured in this episode or to watch more episodes of Motors, just head on over to our website. I'll catch you next time on Motors. I'm telling you right now, the baby's bottom isn't anywhere this soft. And this isn't gonna be against the paint of your car. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. Even applying multiple coats, Coats my goats. <laughs> Bravado wheels, MGP caliker. <laughs> Bravado wheels, MGP caliker. <laughs> I did it again. Go ahead and hit stop. <laughs> <laughs>